Yes. Button. So when you push the red button right here, mm -hmm. you'll notice uh, this red dot shows up here letting you know that you are recording. Mm -hmm. And uh, small, uh, small time code numbers are counting upward. Okay. So once you've run off about five or 10 seconds, you know that the camera's recording. And now you can go ahead and ask the first question. Uh, oh, sorry. I'll turn it off. No, it's okay. I thought all of a sudden I was going to appear on the big screen. That would <laughs> then it would be distracting, you know. It would be like the jumbotron. The jumbotron. <laughs> Joe, uh, tell me your two favorite teams and why you think they're uh, they're your favorite teams. Well, my favorite sports team is probably the San Diego Padres, mm -hmm. and that's because I'm from San Diego, mm -hmm. and when they first uh, became a major league baseball team which was a long time ago, so you can look that up in the record books. <laughs> uh, I was uh, maybe 10 years old, and so those were the games that we got to go to. Um, and I've followed them you know, through their ups and downs. Um, they made the World Series in 1984, which was sort of a miraculous uh, journey. And then uh, again in 1994. So. They've had sort of a, a they haven't been the the best baseball team, but uh, my favorite. And I guess the other one would be um, maybe the George Washington Colonial basketball team. So when I came to D.C. about 12 years ago, they were well pretty. Decent. I mean, struggling to maybe get into the top 25 nationwide. But the great thing about watching a game at uh, George Washington, it's a really small arena, sits maybe 5,000. So no matter where you are, uh, you got to uh, see the game. And at that time, uh, when I first came here, uh, when uh, Bill Clinton was president, he would come to a couple of the games, which always had a lot of excitement. Um, so those are those are my two favorite sports teams. Well, that, that's a great segue. Um, tell me about uh, two games that you've been to and why you thought they were engaging. Two games I've been to. Um, I haven't been to many recent games, and that's because it's hard to. The Twins are not quite ready for uh, going to a Nats game, but I did get to go to a Nationals baseball game earlier in the year. Uh, and we, it was that they actually won, <laughs> so that was one of the reasons it was engaging. And went with uh, some friends that I play softball with, so it was good to connect with them. And of course, going to the Nationals uh, Stadium is great. It's always a good outing, even if you're not really into baseball. Just being able to sort of sit outside and uh, take it all in. Let's talk about your favorite players uh, from any sport. Uh, tell me a, a couple of your favorite players. Well, hmm, probably the one player that I've followed the most, who of course is retired, would be Tony Gwynn, who was played with the Padres, was um, you know one of the best, I guess, uh, hitters of all time. Uh, not a power hitter, but hit for average. Mm -hmm. So uh, Tony was a year ahead of me at San Diego State and was really known at that time as a basketball player. He was the point guard. So good basketball player, didn't have a really good shot. Uh, but at, at, at uh, college level, you know, everyone knows the football and the basketball players but not the baseball players. So no one really knew that Tony Gwynn was a good baseball player until several years later when he came up uh, through the minor league system uh, and started playing with the Padres, we're like, oh, there's Tony Gwynn out in center field. It's like, <laughs> it seems so strange. So sort of followed his career and many um, dramatic games. There was one game in particular where it was the last day of the season. The Padres and the Giants had been vying for first place in the Western Division. Uh, the Giants had clinched the division just one game ahead of the Padres, but the first baseman for the Giants, Will Clark, and Tony Gwynn were tied for the National League batting championship. And that day, Tony went, uh, I think it was five for six, so five hits and six at-bats, and won the batting title by, I don't know, 
0.35 percent uh, of uh, in his average. So that was an exciting time. Great. Uh, and now you know since we've shot just about five minutes of footage. And, and again, if we we'll his name. Now is when we want to have him state his name, spell his last name, and give his title. Great. Uh, thank you for uh, interviewing with me today. Uh, could you state your name and your title? Uh, and Joe Schilling, San Diego Padre fan. <laughs> <laughs> and spell the last name. Spell your, spell your last name. Uh, S-C-H-I-L-L-I-N-G. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. And?